Can the Prime Minister confirm today that the Government will extend business rate relief beyond March 31st? Uh, on his uh, point about the uh, extension of business rate, business rate relief, uh, he knows that this Government is committed to supporting businesses and people uh, livelihoods uh, throughout the pandemic. That is what we will continue to do, but he should wait uh, until the Budget. Let me try another vitally important question for businesses and for millions of working people. Can the Prime Minister confirm today that the furlough scheme will be extended beyond April? Members of this House are familiar uh, with the notion that in just a few days we will be setting out a roadmap for the way out of this uh, pandemic, a roadmap that I hope uh, the right honourable gentleman and his colleagues uh, will support. Though the support, as we know, is, tends to be a transitory thing, uh, Mr Speaker. One week we have it, the next week uh, we don't. Uh, but he won't have to contain himself for very long. They all say, Prime Minister, they can't wait until the budget. The Prime Minister may disagree with me, but he's actually disagreeing with businesses. Why does the Prime Minister think he knows better than British business? Uh, Mr Speaker, I think that uh, most uh, business people that I've talked to, and I've talked to a great many uh, in the last uh, 12 months, would agree that there is no government around the world that has done more to support business, wrapping our arms uh, around business. And actually, I, I'm delighted to hear this enthusiasm uh, for business from the, uh, from the Labour Party uh, when they stood on a manifesto to destroy uh, capitalism at uh, the last election and indeed to dismantle the very pharmaceutical industry, uh, Mr Speaker, that has provided uh, the vaccines on which we now rely. Will he now repudiate that policy, Mr Speaker? Will the Prime Minister now commit to extending the evictions ban on residential properties beyond February the 21st? Mr Speaker, I've uh, said repeatedly that what we will do uh, in this government and throughout this pandemic is put our arms around the British people, support them throughout the pandemic and make sure that people are not unfairly evicted during the pandemic. That is what we will, uh, we will do. They say we're not even in the top bracket of countries for border restrictions. Fifty days after we first discovered, discovered the South African variant. Fifty days. How does the Prime Minister explain that? Sir, some countries in, in Europe that do not even have a hotel quarantine uh, scheme such as the one we're putting in on Monday. We have amongst the toughest border regimes anywhere in the world. I think that this uh, policy is measured, it is proportionate, it is getting tougher from Monday. I hope uh, that he supports it. The Prime Minister often complains that we never put forward constructive proposals. So here's two for him. Support businesses and protect jobs now by extending furlough business rate relief and VAT cuts for hospitality, and second, secure our borders with a comprehensive hotel quarantine on arrival. No more delays. Will he do it? <laughs> Mr Speaker, we've just announced uh, the, uh, the quarantine policy, which, as I've said to the House, uh, is amongst the, the toughest in the, in the world uh, and, and, and tougher than, than m most other European countries, certainly. I'm delighted that he's now supporting business in his latest stunt of bandwagoneering, uh, not, a, not a policy for which he was, uh, he was famous uh, before, Mr Speaker. Uh, but he, you know, he moves from one side of the other in the debate uh, throughout this crisis. And uh, some people, Mr Speaker, on, uh, some people have said that this is a good crisis. Mr. Speaker, some people have said this is a good crisis. Some people have said, some people have said uh, that this crisis is a gift that keeps on giving. Mr. Crisis, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, those people sit on the Labour front bench. I think it is disgraceful that they should say those things. I believe this is one of the biggest challenges this country has faced since the Second World War. And thanks to one of the fastest vaccine rollouts anywhere in the world, I believe it is a challenge this country can meet and is meeting. And I believe that of that vaccine rollout programme, this House and this country should be very proud. Yeah.